What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, I got a channel in. I already did the daily tea this morning, but I got a channel in, and it's a beautiful message. So um, I decided to do this reading for you guys. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. So the channel that I received was um, someone's about to get a huge Christmas surprise is what I heard. So you plug it in, however that resonates. Christmas wish coming true is what I just heard. Holy crap. Christmas wish coming true. So someone's about to get a huge Christmas surprise. Christmas wish coming true. So that's really beautiful energy. Whoever that's for. Um, it's some kind of Christmas surprise, Christmas wish coming true. So um, you plug that in your life, however it resonates, if that does resonate for you. Um, you know, we just hit, we just passed Thanksgiving season. Um, Christmas is less than a month away, um, a little less than a month away now. Um, I, I love the fall time season. I love fall. I love holidays. Um, I do personally. I know a lot of you guys do too. Um, it can be hard on some people though around the holidays when they don't have anybody. Um, and that's what I was, a lot of you guys on my channel, you don't have anybody. And that's what I was telling you guys. Don't, don't let it get you depressed. Don't let it get you down because you always have me. You can always tune into the channel. You can always view me. And, um, hopefully I, you know, I know I'm, I'm just a person on a screen, but I do care. I do care. And, um, you know, hopefully that can give you some positivity and motivation to move forward is what I'm trying to say. Because depression can be heightened around this time for people that don't have people. Um, increase of suicidal thoughts can be heightened around this time when you don't have anybody. Or you feel like you don't matter in the world or you don't care or people don't care about you or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, a lot of that's about mindset. But if you are in a bad mindset... I want you to know I'm here for you, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I am, okay? Yes, I'm behind a screen in YouTube, but I am here for you. So at least maybe this will help somebody out there. But um, I'm not trying to be negative Nancy on you, but I'm just saying. So however that resonates, but somebody's, uh, there's some kind of Christmas wish that's about to come, or Christmas surprise. Somebody's about to get a Christmas surprise. So they're not expecting it. They're not expecting it can be you giving this Christmas surprise or you receiving this Christmas surprise, or it could be both for some of you guys. However, that resonates in your life, if it does resonate, but that's really beautiful altruistic energy is what I'm trying to say. It's beautiful altruistic energy. It's giving back to the universe. It's giving back to the world. It's not trying to steal somebody's ideas or thoughts or work or, um, you know, using someone in some kind of control manipulative controlling manipulative tactics just to take 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 for their own selfish gain it is somebody about to do something for somebody in a positive way not expecting anything back in return is what i'm feeling from this um that's which is which is true altruistic mannerisms is what i'm trying to say if that makes sense so Whoever this is, whether you're the one giving this Christmas surprise, you're the one receiving the Christmas surprise, or it is both for you. Um, that's really wonderful. It's wonderful energy. And then I heard it's um, going to make a Christmas wish come true. So this Christmas surprise that you're about to receive. Now, for some, you could receive it today, some tomorrow, some a week from now, some two weeks from now. I don't know. Christmas is, it's 27, um, 27 days away. Because it's 28th, 25th is Christmas. So 27 days away. Um, so I'm feeling for some you could receive it soon. Some maybe in a couple weeks. I'm not sure. You plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you. I'm going to use, I feel guided to um, use tea leaves. And by the way, while I'm shuffling out, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. I've had um, just the last couple days, I've had a, approximately 300 plus people subscribe so um thanks uh, welcome newbies welcome you guys welcome everybody else that's been around my channel for a year and a half s 
Um, we've had seen a lot of growth on this channel, a lot of huge positive changes for people on this channel. Um, it's, it's, this channel has, um, I feel like I've grown it into a very wonderful safe space for people um, to come get the spirit messages if they, if they want to um, receive them or listen to them or what have you. Um, of course, you know, it's very important to only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. I just want to make that very abundant, abundantly clear. But I feel like that has, you know, that's been one of my goals and I feel like I've achieved it or I'm, I feel like I've achieved it. Creating a, a safe space for people to come and um, listen to the spirit messages, whether they resonate with them or not. Um, and, you know, to create a very positive breeding ground for growth and positivity and change. That was one of the goals for this channel, too. Um, I will be honest with you, the original goal of this channel uh, was to uncover that Secret 7 stuff. That was the original goal. And if I still get Secret 7 messages in, of course, I will definitely display them. Um, oh, definitely. Um, but that was the original goal. And then um, now we're focusing on healing and growth and manifestation and changing and things like that. Um, I just kind of ran into this for anybody is curious to know. I just kind of started this channel. Um, I just kind of started this channel because I was getting this um, spear messages. Um, I started receiving them when I was 37. And it's really, excuse me, been the best thing that ever happened to me. It really has. Um, it has been. Uh, it's, it's, helped, it's helped a lot of people. I've gotten many messages saying how much it's helped them, how much um, it's given them clarity. And... Um, so I, I wanted to get back. So for anybody that was curious to know that. Okay, so somebody's about to receive a Christmas surprise. Um, it's going to be very, very, um, apparently very, um, it's going to be a surprise. So they're not going to um, know that they're about to get a Christmas surprise. Hopefully, if you're receiving this Christmas surprise, hopefully it's by somebody. Hopefully it's not manipulation tactics. Hopefully, hopefully it's by somebody you want to receive it from. Um, you know, and it's not somebody from the past that was very toxic to you trying to come back. Um, you know, hopefully it's um, positivity and not manipulation. Just saying. I didn't hear that part, but I'm, that's just my piece. Just saying. Spirit messages you have to look like this. Some it is reward money they should have received previous. Some it is payouts and settlements they should have received previous. Some it is their mortgage being paid off. Some it is a new vehicle. Some it is a new pet. Oh my God. Whoa. These are big things. Holy crap. These are huge things. So you plug it in how it resonates. Dear God, that's a big Christmas surprise right there. So if this resonates with you, for some, it's a reward. It sounds like financial reward. You should have received in the past and you didn't. For some, it is a payout or a settlement of the past that you didn't receive in the past and you're about to get it. For some, it is a new pet. For some, it is your mortgage being paid off. For some, it is a new vehicle. So you plug it in however that resonates. Uh, for some, it could be one of these things. For some, it could be two plus. For some, you could be the one giving this to someone or helping amend it to give it to someone. However that resonates for you, um, those are huge things. Those are huge things. Um, so congrats to whoever that's for. Spirit messages you have for collective. Like First one that popped out. Spirit messages you have like this. For some, an offer of a date will come after this. No pressure. Okay. I heard for some, an offer of a date will come after this. No pressure. So, um, you know, there's many 
wonderful Christmas surprises in here, apparently. Um, hopefully I'm not, well, I feel like I might be ruining somebody's plans here. Um, delivering these, but these are, these are beautiful. I mean, I probably am ruining at least one for the person about to receive the, um, about to give these to somebody. I probably am ruining your plans, but it really is beautiful energy. I, I you know, I'm kind of glad to ruin the positive surprises. Um, you know, I blow up the crazy stuff on somebody's about to, uh, I reveal the nasty stuff too with the secret seven. I mean, I'm just saying, uh, <laughs> the whole hu human trafficking warehouse about to be exposed. I'm just saying, just saying, uh, but I like to deliver the good stuff too. So, uh, you know, vehicle, somebody's mortgage about to get paid off. Somebody, um, uh, what was it? Vehicle mortgage about to get paid off, uh, payout or settlement that you were supposed to receive in the past and you didn't. So I'm assuming the company's going to amend that or the organization's going to amend that or someone's going to amend that to make that right for you. Um, what was the other ones? A new pet, a new pet. And, um, there was a couple more. There was a couple more. You have to plug it in. But in someone's about to get offered an offer of a date after one of these interactions. So um, for some, like I said, you could be offered one of these things. You could be offered two plus of these things. For some, you could be the one amending or giving one or two plus of these things or both. But some, but whoever is about to get the, on the receiving end of this, at least one person, they're about to get offered an offer of a date after this receiving energy comes in. But I heard there would be no pressure there. And that's the best way to go. Spirit messages you have requested. That's the best way to go because you don't ever want to try to pressure someone into a date. Because especially like a first date, because you try to pressure somebody into a first date, they're not gonna, gonna, gonna want to go on a second date with you and they're not going to want to date you, period. Um, so absolutely. Spirit messages you have requested. I feel glad that you get one more. Wow, these are looking good. Spare messages you have for the collective. Christmas surprise energy. I'm gonna have to check back on my readings last Christmas time. I was I did some um some uh oh my back. Oh hold on, y'all, I gotta adjust. Um I I did some wonderful um series last year for the holiday time. I have to check back and see what my series were. So I can do them this year. I might start them soon because we've only got like well, less than a month till Christmas. Spirit messages you have reflected. That's way, way, way too many. Holy crap, that's too many. That's like 20. Okay, I just heard stop. I heard stop. Okay. All right, we're stopping. Um, so we have Lily, spiritual love. Woman's dealing your relationship with a woman. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. That's what we got. Let me see if I hear anything. Beware, in one of these circumstances, it is heavy manipulation. Someone that extremely betrayed you in the past, and they're trying to come back as a good guy now. But you're highly intuitive, and you know this person is a snake. It would not be smart to allow them back in their life, in your life. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So for at least one of you guys, it is manipulation for one, at least one in the universe. Um, it's somebody from your past that betrayed you in a huge way. I heard they're a snake from spirit. They're a snake. They betrayed you in a huge way, but now they want to come back and try to make things better with you so they can look like the good guy, basically. But I heard basically, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Whoever you are, you're highly intuitive. So don't be fooled. Use your intuition. A snake is a snake is a snake is a snake, usually. 
And if they're going to do it, if they did in the past, they're probably going to do it again. But they want to look like the good guy now because it sounds like they've screwed up so many people's lives, including yours in the past, that they want to look like the good guy now to make their reputation go up in the community or the world because they people know they've screwed you over, basically. That's what I'm feeling. And for some, I feel it could strongly be a, a, a femme energy or someone with femme parts. Just saying. So um, use your best intuition, discernment, judgment. Um, a snake is a snake is a snake is a snake. Period. Um, I would keep boundaries. That I mean, of course, you can take a leave it. Just saying. Because people that compete with people and try to compete with people to get to the top or get above people or, um, you know, like push and shove energy. Uh, it's kind of like Black Friday when the poor people get trampled over for a freaking $200 TV. It's those people that are trampling over the poor people to get the $200 TV. That's the kind of energy I'm feeling for the person trying to come back. Just saying, just saying for a lot of you guys. But you're highly intuitive and you know that's how this person is. But now they want to look like the good guy. Spirit messages you have to focus. Like For one, something amazing is about to happen to you soon. Very positive in your life and the people you care about's life. It would be smart to just keep moving forward and do not allow the manipulators back in. For others, it is true people wanting to come in and truly do nice things okay so you plug it in how it resonates wow so um so at least one of you guys is about to get something amazing in your life in some shape form or fashion soon for yourself some for you some for your children or people you care about it doesn't have to be your children it could be um i feel it's people obviously it's people you care about it could be siblings it could be parents it could be children it could be um just people that are close to you that have been like ride or die and always been loyal to you. Um, however that resonates, but, um, um, they are, um, they are, um, they've been true to you though. They haven't betrayed you. They haven't stabbed you in the back. They have been ride or die loyal, true to you. Um, but it's something amazing about to come in positively for you, for you and the people you care about, whoever this resonates for, whether it's children or siblings or, parents or grandparents or what have you but um i heard be smart to just keep moving forward not allow the manipulative person or people of the past back and um just keep moving forward for others of you guys it is truly people that want to do nice positive things for you they don't expect any clout or recognition or fame in it they just it's all true altruistic kind of energy and the amending of the um, settlement or payout or whatever, what have you, you are owed that anyways. So hopefully that's truly people in the company or organization or what have you just wanting to make it better. Um, hopefully. Hopefully that's just on a strictly, strictly professional realm and not a manipulative realm is what I'm trying to say. Because obviously this settlement or payout or large amount of money that you were owed in the past, you were truly owed that. But they manipulated it where you didn't get it for strategic reasons. But they're wanting to make it right now, if that makes sense. So hopefully that's just strictly on a professional realm. You can take get the money and you can move on with your life is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully. Okay, so this is how they were. Lily, spiritual love. We also have acceptance, reverse, and focus upright. Number 414 could be very significant numbers in your life. 414, those could be ages of children in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, possibly, or significant numbers you see on reoccurring numbers you see on advertisements or billboards. Um, they could be a, a possible lottery number or um, jersey number or something of that nature. 414. Lily, spiritual love.
Someone is realizing spiritual messages are coming true. For some, it scares them. For some, they are amazed. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Someone is realizing, realizing spiritual messages are coming true. For some, they are um, scared. For some, they are amazed. So for the ones that are scared, I'm assuming they're probably on the negative end. They're probably low vibrational people and they didn't believe in spiritual realm or spirituality or light side um, spiritual practices um, and energy, energy and energetic spaces and um, manifestation and growth and healing and um, doing it the right way, basically. Um, I'm assuming for the people that are scared because um, I'm assuming they are the negative low vibrational people that's probably stole people's social security numbers and steal their benefits or they got four kids by four different people or they're in a secret third party or um or what have you some kind of crazy behavior that they are performing that i think is coming out in readings whether it's my reading or somebody else's reading through spiritual messages so it's through somebody that actually connects with the spiritual realm like i do and receives messages either clairaudiently clairvoyantly clairsentiently or dreamscape um, but some are amazed. So some, um, some, either you or somebody you're connected to, you're either scared or amazed about these messages. So um, I feel if you're amazed, you're on the light side. You're on the light side. You don't go around harming people, causing people physical harm, mental harm. Um, fit, you know, um, you live life on the straight and narrow, narrow, basically. But you are amazed because you're realizing this stuff is coming true. That's what I'm feeling. And for a lot of you guys on the second realm, the second instance of that, the light side realm of that, I think you're going to be the ones that's going to probably be the driving force of help of the altruistic behavior in here and um, help this person get payout or settlement or the reward energy they were supposed to get and they didn't get or the vehicle energy or the pet energy or some kind of positivity, possibly for some. And for some, you could be giving and receiving it. Woman dealing with a relationship with a woman. For one particular person, there is a head of a family feminine energy that is very controlling and was very controlling of you in the past it would not be very it would not be smart to allow her back at all you know who she is okay so you plug it in how it resonates if that resonates for you so for some of you guys, I think this is a manipulator that's going to try to come back. Because for some of you guys, there's a manipulator that's going to try to come back. For some, there's true altruistic people going to help and just want to give in a positive, heartfelt, Christmas-like spirit way. But for some, there is one particular femme energy that I heard she's a head of a household in some shape, form, or fashion. So she could be a head of a like an extended family, a huge family unit, or just one little group of family however that resonates i feel for who this is for it's a large family group large family dynamic i don't feel it's like a head of household of like one kid or two kids for some it could be it could possibly be but i feel for the most part she i heard she loves control so i think she likes to control like the family like i feel like um like mafia type energy in here I'm serious. I feel like she, like a mafia type family S type energy, like Al Capone with boobs and a booty. Um, and I'm serious about that. I, I'm so serious. So I feel she she controls like a large empire, um, like generational wealth, illegally probably street side um, for some. So it's not, you know, it's not paying her mortgage, making sure her kids are fed and clothed and their grades are doing um, either well or trying to do well or making sure projects do or what have you. Because um, you have to maintain control in your household so it doesn't become chaos. This is more like organized crime energy is what I'm feeling. Um, like a dominatrix type person that has like third parties and 
um, little sugar daddies or sugar mamas on the side or little side pieces on the side. And they just love to control people like sex and money and power and things like that. Um, but I heard it would not be smart to allow her back. She apparently, for one of you guys, she wants to come back. She wants to come back because she loves to control. So she wants to control you too. But you, ha she hasn't been successful controlling you. Um, I feel you have separated yourself from her ass. Um, you either recently separated yourself or you have in the long past. How that resonate? Um, if this resonates for you, but she wants to come back because she loves the game. She loves the game of control, but I heard it would not be smart to allow her back. So, um, feminine energy, she could have dark hair or not, but she's a femme energy and she's very controlling. Um, very controlling. I feel organized crime energy here. I feel, um, like true dominatrix type energy, if that makes sense. Fly, do not be tempted to lower your standards. For some, this feminine energy will try heavy manipulative tactics. It would not be smart. For some, you're in her family. For some, you are a third party. For some, you are not in her family. Position a high authority in the community. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Somehow we're pulling her in Christmas surprise energy, but um, maybe the Christmas surprise for her is you finally cutting her ass out of your life, possibly for some. Um, but this dominatrix control matriarchy super controller matriarchy femme energy is going to try to come back into some of you guys's life for some you're a third party for some you're actually in her in her family for some um whether that's extended or immediate family for some um you are not in her family you're a position of high authority in the community in some shape or fashion um but she's going to try to come back and manipulate you but you have the do not be tempted to lower your standards so basically um for some, I feel this toxic femme energy about to try to come back to you. I think some of her dirty deeds are coming out in um, tarot card readings. I think they're coming out in tarot card readings. And it makes her very nervous. Very nervous. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. And I heard it makes her very nervous. So, okay, yeah. So, some of her dirty deeds is coming out in tarot card readings. And she doesn't like that. Because, uh, you know, those are public readings and... Usually, a lot of people view the tarot readings, usually. Uh, but she doesn't like it. I heard it makes her very nervous. So, she's probably going to try to come back and manipulate you and make you think that the reader's crazy or the reader doesn't know what they're talking about. But I heard from Spirit, they do. So, I don't know which reader you're watching that this is actually happening. or she And, and she's about to come back and try to manipulate you to convince she's cr the reader's crazy or they're not, you know, they're lying or what have you. But I heard from Spirit, they are true. And that's why she's going to try to come back. And basically try to convince you that it's not true because she's trying to cover her ass because it really is um true and she doesn't want people to really know that so she's going to try to make the reader probably look like they're crazy um because spiritual realm you're watching spiritual videos you're watching tarot card readings you're watching spiritualists you're watching true light side spiritual people that where it really is coming true, not not somebody that's performing dark arts, sex magic, confusion spells, that kind of thing. The people that perform the sex magic and confusion spells, they don't tell you that they perform them. Because, I mean, and that's just the true for real, for real. But you can usually discern the readers that are on the dark side from the light side because the readers on the light side, they speak out against sex magic, confusion spells, um, those kind of things. They speak out against it. But the ones that do actually perform the sex magic confusion spells, um, manipulation magic spells, those kind of things, they don't speak out about that usually, usually, because they are the ones performing it, usually. Acceptance reverse. When you receive... For some, when you receive these wonderful gifts, this feminine energy is going to be very, very, very pissed. 
and others will be mad. But there will be definitely more happy people, way, way, way more happy people than unhappy people. Know this. Okay, so you, wow. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard when you receive these gifts, for some it could be one gift, for some it could be two or plus in these Christmas surprise energy. Um, this femme energy, she's very significant in your life. For some, she's a family member. For some, she's um, for some she's a family member. For some, she's the third party. For some, she is a um, um, uh, somebody that is uh, going to try to interact with you. Your position of high authority in the community, and she um, interacts with you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, maybe she does business with you. Maybe um, you are the third party. Uh, what have you? But um, however she is and however you identify her in your life, I'm, I guess I should say. Um, but I heard when you receive these gifts, she's going to be pissed. And that's probably why she's going to try to come back for some of you guys. Um, and try to act like she did it. Or wants to act like, you know, or she wants to be part, like she she wants to do it for you. Bitch, please. Um, I'm sure there's a reason you have separated her out of your life. I'm just saying. Uh, for good freaking same reasons. Um, but, you know, she wants to look like the good guy, but she's really not. But you know she's not the good guy. But I think other people are waking up and realizing she's not the good guy either. And um, it's hard for her to accept that, one. And two, it's hard to accept that you're about to get this wonderful um, gift or gifts. And for some, a wonderful opportunity soon. So I'm thinking an employment opportunity, a business opportunity, um, or something of that nature. She's not, she doesn't want it for you because she has such control and manipulation issues. She wants you under her thumb. Come here, my little pretty. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. So it's going to be hard for her, her to accept. I heard it's going to be hard for others to accept that you're about to get this wonderful, um, beautiful energy coming in your life too. But way more people will be happier for you than the ones that are not happy. So um, basically, don't worry about the haters, basically. Focus upright. Stay focused on your life. I'm growing and manifesting and building. Okay. I heard stay focused on your life, growing, manifesting, and building. So stay focused on you. You know, building and growing yourself, the ones you care about, children or family members or close loved ones. Um, you know, uh, Maybe for some, it could be remodeling your home, moving, redecorating. Um, of course, on the light side, not with stolen money or stolen benefits or something of that nature, if all that resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. I hope this helped. Namaste.